got free shipping and five easy payments on everything, including our brand new today special value. You've been asking for it for actual years. It is here. The KitchenAid Artisan Mini three and a half quart tilt head stand mixer with your choice of bowl. Holiday baking season is here. The mini is here. It's lighter. It's smaller. It's just as powerful as the classic stand mixer. And this is KitchenAid. Since 1919, we have trusted the appliances in our home, but Circana, which is a retail tracking service, calls this the number one selling mixer brand in the U.S. We would love for you to call us at 800-395-1601 for smaller kitchens, for downsizers, anybody who's looking to upgrade, maybe for you. If you are looking for that tilt head that's a lighter weight, but still all the power, makes five dozen cookies in a single batch. Yes, it has the soft start. Yes, it has a 250 watt motor. Yes, ma'am, it's on free shipping today. This is the mixer that I use and oh my gosh, that's some of the prettiest pies I've ever seen, Tina Varelli. Um, Tina Varelli is joining us this entire hour and we talk about the mini but mighty. And Tina is a uh, Pillsbury Bake Off champion. <laughs> Just gonna talk about that a little bit too. But everybody come on over here and let's talk about the two steps, the two choices that you have to make. The first thing I want you to do is choose. Do you want the glass bowl or do you want the stainless steel bowl? So that's your first choice, stainless steel bowl, or the glass bowl. Now, the glass bowl is an exclusive offer right here at QVC. Step two is choose your color. Do you wanna get that matte black? It's got a beautiful, beautiful matte to it. So if you have that kind of look in your kitchen, grab it while we've got it. Contour silver. To me, this is iconic. This is always a bestseller in the land of KitchenAid, so you can absolutely pick up the mini in that contour silver. And by the way, the matte black and the contour silver available in both bowl choices. This is the Empire Red. This is the one. Holiday Red, Race Car Red. This is the one that a lot of people pick up as a pop of color in their kitchen. This is available in both the glass and the stainless steel bowl choices. Here is the white. It's a beautiful glossy white, nice sheen to it. But the white is also available in the glass bowl and the stainless steel choice. But come on down here to the end. This is Aqua Sky. The Aqua Sky in the mini is an exclusive color to us right here at QVC. The Aqua Sky is only available in the glass bowl choice, which I predict to be a very popular one. Now we're gonna help you make that decision if you need some help in a minute, but I just wanna point out that you're getting the mini. Both bowls are the same size, three and a half quarts. You're getting the coated dough hook. You're getting the wire whip and you're also getting that icon. This is the one that a lot of us ask, can I get this separately? This is that flex edge beater. It comes along with it. You get all three of those attachments. You get the mini. And if you're choosing the glass option, the retail value is $389.99. Y'all don't pay that. In the glass option, you spend five easy payments of $60. How about that? In the stainless steel option, the retail value is $379.99 you're spending $279.98. We have five easy payments of $56 there. So all in, our price difference ranges from $90 to $100. And the mini, I don't think we've seen it, Tina Varelli, since 2018. No. It's a big day. And everybody, please, if you've never spent time with this amazing lady, she is Tina Varelli. She is our brand ambassador with KitchenAid. You also, I love bragging on her, 2012 Pillsbury Bake Off champ. She's an amazing recipe developer and blogger. But can you kind of summarize for everybody why the mini? I am so crazy about the <laughs> mini, Mary, because it's so mighty. Yeah. So it's smaller, it's lighter, but it's so powerful. And just a quick look behind us, here's the size comparison to the mini, the classic and beyond. And we're mm -hmm. gonna talk about the specs of that in just a minute. But can we come yeah. forward and take a look here? Because the mini can still make five dozen cookies in one batch. Yeah. Really, all my single batches, yeah. it can handle, and it's just so great as my everyday mixer. You know, it's smaller, so I keep it out on the counter. Yeah. It has that tilt head design where the head tilts back and actually locks into place. We're gonna talk about that later. But it's just so easy and convenient for every day. I still have my big mixer, yeah. which I pull out when I need to do those, you know, 
double or triple batches, but this is just such a dream. There are so many details that I am in love with, with this mini. It's just such a great option, So Mary. we had, can we pop that back up for a second? We're gonna pop up a graphic about the difference between help us choose, if anybody's watching right now, the difference between the glass and the stainless steel bowls. How do I pick? Right, it's really a personal preference. With the stainless steel bowl, it's a beautiful upgraded bowl, dishwasher safe, you have that handle, it's lightweight and durable. Yeah. Can go in the refrigerator and the freezer and the dishwasher. The glass bowl is beautiful and see-through. It has a handle, also a pour spout, those measurement markings, and it can go in the microwave. Oh, got a little. It heavier on the glass, a little lighter on the metal, so it's just really up to you. I mean, I hear that motor going, and I also see that soft start in action because mm -hmm. I don't see that flower puffing up exactly, all around the sides. Exactly, and it has 10 speeds, and the very first speed is a super low stir speed, so you've noticed that things are not flying out of the bowl because of that soft start, because of that stir speed, it really purrs and just, it's so much quieter too. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because I've been using mine since 2018 when yes. we had it here. And this is my go-to. I mean, there's two of us in the house. The motor is still powerful. And I want to say again, it's lighter, it's smaller, but it's just as powerful. And I think for anybody who is watching right now, and we talk a lot about age of possibility at QVC, right. for anybody who's saying, I don't use my stand mixer as much, my classic stand mixer right. as much, because I'm not crazy about the weight. Right. This one's lighter. It is. If you're watching and you're saying, well, gosh, it is baking season, and I would love to have a second mixer. This is a great one for you too. Mm -hmm. How heavy is it? What is the weight on this machine? So it's it depends okay. with the bowls on it. I yeah. think the base is about 14 pounds. You got it, yeah. yeah. And then when you have the bowl and the attachment on, it's as high as 18. Exactly. But comparatively, do we wanna go back? Right, um, so check this out. Oh. Oh, hello. You have been working out? Yeah, I can like do curls <laughs> with it. <laughs> I should have worn it. my muscle shirt. But take a look, what size is this machine? This is an approximate seven quart. And if you look at all three sizes, the seven quart is approximately 25 pounds without the bowl, mm -hmm. and it stands 16 inches tall. Right. Now jump on over here. This is the Artisan five quart. This one is approximately 20 pounds without the bowl, and it's 14.1 inches tall. Here's your mini. The mini is approximately 14 and a half pounds without the bowl, and it's 12.1 inches tall. Thank you. So the fact that you have that comparison here, if you have the other model and you want to get a second, it's a great time to do it. Mm -hmm. But I look at this today's special value price between 90 and $100 price difference. Right. Easy as choose your bowl, choose your color, and then, what are you making in this bowl? So this is something new, Mary. I saw it on social media and I had to try it myself. So we're whipping honey. Ooh. So do you have a jar of crystallized honey in the back of your pantry? You know when the honey gets all full of crystals and yeah. you can't even like get it out, the lid gets stuck on it, like what do I do with it? Yeah. You don't throw it away, you transform it into whipped honey. And look how thick and viscous that is. Ooh. We're gonna whip this for 10 minutes. At home I do it for 20 minutes, but we're a little time crunch sure, here. Sure. And it is going to transform into this luscious, fluffy mixture. Look at this, wait, can you hold? Look at that. Look at that mixture. What? You, you're gonna see it transform in front of your eyes. I add a little cinnamon, a little vanilla. It's great with anything on your charcuterie board, on your toast, on your pancakes, on your waffles. It also makes a lovely gift. Can I put a little behind each ear? Yes. This is, so, and you're using the wire whip to do it. Yeah, so we're gonna actually let this go. I'm okay. gonna set a timer. While you do, can I remind everybody yes, of our choices? Please. Thank you, my friend. Come on over here with me because you have two choices to make. One, do you want the glass bowl? Let's talk about that glass bowl for a hot second. The glass, 
uh, configuration is exclusive to us here at QVC. The glass bowl on its own has a $69.99 value. You have visibility, so you can see what's happening on the inside. There's measuring lines on the glass bowl. It is microwave freezer dish washer safe. Now, in the glass bowl configuration, we have the Aqua Sky, which I predict will be very popular. That is our most limited color. That's the least amount that we brought in. So if you want the Aqua Sky, please don't go to bed and think it'll be here tomorrow because it may not be. Now here is the white. Here is the Empire Red. Here is the Contour Silver. And here is that gorgeous matte black. Now everybody gets the coated dough hook, the wire whip, and that flex beater. In the stainless steel bowl, let's talk about the stainless steel bowl for a minute. The mini that I picked up in 2018, yeah. my stainless steel bowl didn't have a handle. This is upgraded. Yes, it is. So the stainless steel bowl is durable. It's lighter. It's chillable for your, I don't know, cookie dough if you want to make those yeah. and whipped cream too. This is also a dishwasher safe bowl. So don't worry, you're getting dishwasher safe with both bowls. In the stainless steel, we have the white. We also have the Empire Red. We've got the contour silver, and we also have the matte black. For the glass configuration, you could expect to spend $389.99. For the stainless steel configuration, you could expect to spend $379.99. Today at QVC, I've been so excited to tell you that it is between $90 and $100 different price. Our today's special value price is incredible. It's also on free shipping. So that's an additional $17.97 saved. So if you are looking for the gift, if you are looking for that stand mixer that now I don't want to pick up the 25 or the 30 pounder, I can pick up this one right. between 14 and 18 pounds, depending on what bowl and what accessory you have. Mm -hmm. This is yours. It is, and Get it's it. so powerful. I don't want anyone to be worried Thank about the power. That. Think about yeah. your big XL SUV is powerful, right? But it's big. But your little race car is powerful too, yeah. just like this. In here is like a specialized motor under the hood that is really going to tackle. It has never hesitated with anything that I've given it, including sourdough bread. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's saying something because when you think about all of the different features that come along with, let's say, the classic stand right. mixer that is, you know, the number one selling mixer brand in the U.S. Right. Um, the mini, we're not giving up power that's good to, oh, and that's a beautiful loaf. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it is crackly. It is soft and pillowy on the inside. The outer crust is just shattering. And that was made with my KitchenAid Mini. Yeah. So power, no problem. And it's a three and a half quart bowl. Mm -hmm. You can still, we're making five dozen cookies at a pop in that bowl. Right. But uh, this it, is a one and a half pound loaf okay. of sourdough bread and it handles it beautifully and you know it needs for 10 minutes wow so i can walk away and do other things so even though it's lightweight yeah. it's still that durable sturdy metal construction that you know from KitchenAid for over a hundred years. So what I'm using is I'm using that flex edge beater to mix together my starter. Do I have to alter the size of my recipes with the mini? That is such a good question. You do not. Okay. I use all my regular single Box batch. Box mixes are good to go. Exactly. Okay. okay. All your regular single batch recipes. You don't need awesome. any kind of special recipes. Okay. So we're gonna mix together our flour, our water, our salt, and our starter and sourdough if you watch on social media people are doing it by hand oh yeah they're stretching and folding they give their starter names all day long yes using a stand mixer is not that common but it makes it so much more accessible and easy for my busy life because it takes a lot of the stretch and folds away it takes a lot of the time away and it's just perfect. Could you hand me yes. that bowl down there? Yes. So we're gonna do a little magic of TV here. So we're gonna take this guy off. I couldn't help but notice in a recent uh, show that I was streaming where they cook a lot, yeah. that there was a familiar brand on the, all the countertops there. I just Have happened to notice that? because I 
I love that show and I love this brand. I just happened to see it. Right. I thought that was pretty cool. So Tilt Head, we know and love because it is that really easy to handle. You know, the head tilts back. And then we just put our beater on. And then all I'm gonna do, the stand mixer's gonna do 